guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina and today we're talking about spring 2024 trends. How to make them wearable, especially if you are mid-size like I am. So spring officially started in the UK yesterday and honestly it was such a beautiful day that it actually made me a bit emotional because it just feels like we've had such a long winter that I'm so, so excited for spring. I feel like I don't really get the chance to film these slightly longer form research videos and they are by far my favourite to film so I really hope you'll enjoy it. It's going to very much be a mix of what I kind of saw in trend reports and also what I'm seeing on the street and on Instagram and TikTok. And I'm partly doing this for myself because I really feel like my um, wardrobe is lacking. For a very long time I really shopped very very little and I want to start shopping a little bit more. So I don't want to dig into trends too much. I think it's always nice to find trends that are timeless but i really want to be like re-inspired by my wardrobe and i'm hoping that this video will help and also i'm just kind of putting in a lot of work towards that i think the best place to start is color because i think color is an easy one to go for it doesn't matter what size you are i guess it does matter a little bit on your coloring and especially recently because i have had my um seasonal color analysis done i do think it matters a little bit but you can always find a colour that suits you. I would say that red is still really, really popular. I know we saw it a lot last season. Everyone started wearing the little red socks, pops of red on shoes, on bags, like full red outfits. No question that red was a really popular colour last season. And I think it's going to continue to be a really popular colour. Luckily, red is a colour that I think looks really lovely on me. So it's definitely a colour that I'm going to carry on wearing. And for me, because it is a colour that I can wear quite easily, I am quite willing to invest into that. So Stuff like red lipsticks I obviously already have. I would quite like a red pair of shoes. I'll talk about shoes a little bit later. I'd really like a beautiful red jumper. That's like top of my wish list. But if red isn't your colour, I also think blue and yellow are really, really popular. In particular, a pale kind of buttercream yellow. Really, really in. A baby blue, super popular, even worn together. In terms of yellow, they're all over Instagram. Is that a line pale yellow waistcoat, which is beautiful, but yellow and orange are the two colours that I don't wear. So I'm not going to get too heavily involved in this trend to be completely honest. I probably won't partake at all. Although I think as far as yellows go, I think a pale yellow is probably the only yellow that I can just about get away with wearing. But I would definitely be wearing lots and lots of pale blue. And I think this ties in so beautifully with other trends coming up. And also in terms of cobalt blue, I think cobalt blue was so like unloved and seen as quite a out of trend colour for such a long time and since I am a winter in terms of seasonal colour analysis it's a colour that really suits me it's a colour I'll be trying to introduce into my um wardrobe again probably through jumpers and cardigans but again up there on, on my wish list as the things that I want in terms of colour it's just about picking the colours that really suit you because then even when they are no longer a trend you'll still look great in them. For example, personally, I think blues and reds are probably my better colours, so I'm definitely going to wear those as much as possible, probably together to a certain degree, and I'm probably going to introduce a bit of pink, and I think actually, we'll see, but I think those might just be like core wardrobe colours for me going forward, but luckily red and blue are super on trend as well. Now on from that is stripes, and I love stripes. I don't think they ever become overly unfashionable, although I have seen that apparently they're like a telltale sign that you're a millennial and not Gen Z. I think that's more horizontal stripes. We are really seeing vertical stripes everywhere. We are seeing them on shirts. I love a oversized shirt with vertical stripes, again, preferably in blue. I think they look really, really beautiful in blue. They look quite nice in red, but you can also do pink or yellow or any other color that suits you and we are seeing striped trousers everywhere. I think pinstripe is somewhat popular, but I think for spring, what we're really, really seeing are those blue and white striped trousers that are everywhere. They're really affordable, they're really comfortable, especially if, like me, you have slightly bigger thighs. It's much easier to wear a pair of trousers than a skirt, for example. So those like linen pants that everyone's wearing, H&M do a pair, which are super affordable, and I just really, really like the look of them. Last summer, for example, I thrifted a pair of, I actually think they're pyjamas, but I 100% wore them out lots, of like blue and white striped shorts. And I, actually, I don't think I've got any pictures in them because I really do wear them very, very casually. But I just loved, loved, loved wearing them. They were probably the best thing I bought last spring and summer. I paid like £3.50 for them or, some, or something like that. Very, very affordable. I just got so much wear out of them because unlike other shorts, which are often quite short, or denim shorts, which can be quite uncomfortable. They have an elastic waistband and they're su super, super comfy. And it's the same with the trousers. They have an elastic waistband 
and super comfy. In terms of striped shirts, I think they look much better oversized. You could even borrow some off your dad or your brother or your partner. You can wear them open, kind of almost like a jacket, and I think that is a great outfit. Or you can tuck them in, or apparently now people don't tuck things in, so just oversized over a pair of jeans. It just looks really cool and effortless, but still super on trend. And again, I think it's relatively timeless. In terms of trousers though, they don't have to be those super casual linen trousers because last year Bowden released a pair which were just chef's kiss. I didn't buy them and I'm kind of regretting not buying them. They were just beautiful and they had a, a button and I think especially if you want to dress something up, having a button is that little bit nicer in my opinion. And, and kind of to go with that, I think gingham is also a really popular trend. I guess it is most springs, but I think it's just a nice variation of that stripe into gingham they're very like similar of course i'm wearing this black and white striped shirt I, I thrifted this for a few pounds really i think like more colored ginghams are really really popular and then on from that there's cropped boxed like tweed often jackets which are super super popular at the moment cut i think kind of chanel and they look really like ladylike and i think they're really lovely on other people this for me isn't a trend i'm going to partake in again it just doesn't really suit me. I don't think, for me, it has that longevity. I don't really want too much of that overly ladylike style, really. So I'm personally not going to buy one because also I really look much, much better in a jacket that has a collar. And this is something I've discovered about a month ago because someone left me a comment and kind of didn't believe it. And then I've been like, oh, I, can't, I really can't find a jacket that suits me. And then suddenly I was like, oh my God, there was that one comment and she is so, so right. I do think occasionally you can find them with collars, but I just don't really think it's my style. But I think kind of related to this is that cardigans are super popular at the moment. Slightly shorter button down cardigans with a high neck. And I just love that as a look because you can wear it open. But me personally, I like to have it like half half open so the top half open uh, tucked into a pair of shorts or a pair of trousers and i think that really suits my style and shape wise it's very reminiscent of the really popular tweed jacket so i think that's a great way to do that trend now hear me out because i know denim never goes out of style but i just think denim is so so popular at the moment and actually i'm on a personal quest to find the perfect jeans for me and i haven't quite I haven't quite got there. I think maybe the Abercrombie um, curve jeans might be really good, but I accidentally bought, ordered the non-curve version and they're not quite working for me. So do let me know in the comments what are your favourite pair of jeans. I'm looking for something that is a straight leg and quite full length, um, and I am five foot seven. But I would say that at the moment, the it sort of jean is probably a either a baggy fit i still think is quite popular but probably it is that kind of it is that more straight leg i do think that a low rise or a mid rise is probably the most popular i honestly think that the one trend i will never ever ever partake in is a low rise jean because i done that in the noughties and i really carry a lot of my weight on my hips and so I mean, muffin tops are fine. Like, I have a muffin top now with a with a, a high waist, but it was just extreme, and I, I really feel like I have a bit of PTSD because they were so unflattering on me that I will never go near a pair of low rise jeans. But maybe we are moving kind of more towards a mid rise, and I'm not as anti a mid rise, but I do think that if you are a little bit curvier like I am and you have a smaller waist, still getting those tailored really helps them look more custom to you, I guess, because by then they kind of are, but they just fit that little bit nicer. And typically I find that even in London, admittedly outside zone one and two, getting jeans taken in typically costs me like five pounds, maybe 10 pounds tops. But if you're getting, if you're thrifting a pair of jeans, for example, or you're buying a relatively affordable pair of jeans, it's definitely worth just getting them brought in a little bit if you have got a smaller waist, if you need to. Now, double denim is everywhere, and I think this is such a lovely, lovely trend. You can match the denims or you can contrast the denims. Recently on my Instagram, I did share white jeans with a blue shirt, and honestly, I don't think it quite worked on me. I think I've come to realise that I really need contrast, and that doesn't really offer that. But if you are someone that likes a more kind of light or tonal outfit, I think that does look beautiful. What has my heart is when people wear like a head to toe, like the same colour denim. Oh, I think it's just chef's kiss. It is beautiful. Um, and that can be like jeans, a t-shirt and a jacket. Or it can be like a, sh a denim shirt with a pair of jeans. But we're also seeing loads and loads of like jumpsuits, 
I guess they're more like boiler suits. Um, there are really beautiful denim dresses about. And I think they're one that really works no matter your size. If, if there's a huge discrepancy between your top half and your lower half, then I think maybe it's worth going for like separates. And the benefits of separates is that you can then wear them separately. But in the past I've had some denim dresses and I actually think they are a great investment something that's really really easy to wear uh, it's just such a versatile piece i think of course they're never going to look overly formal but especially because i do think like darker blue darker blue is in at the moment you can still dress it up and down quite well i think and then in terms of color like i said dark blue jeans i think is where it's at i still think there's a place for white or light jeans i just got a pair of white jeans i think really like dark blue jeans are the vibe at the moment and there is a huge trend for like barrel jeans i haven't tried them on let me know if you guys have and what you think i think it's just not for me i think it's like very very trendy and i don't really love buying like overly trendy jeans i want to be able to wear my jeans for a good few years another like key naughty's word is peplums and i think they're making a comeback not like they were in the noughties but in a cooler way it's not like super tight and then a peplum the whole thing is a little bit looser and i think that's quite cool what i do think is lovely and what we'll talk about in a minute is waistcoats that are that little bit longer and they kind of flare out so it's not it's not necessarily a peplum but there's that kind of shape and i think if you are curvy i think that will look beautiful i haven't tried it on yet but it, it's on my wish list i guess we'll move on to vests and waistcoats super super popular um again not one not a trend i've yet bought into I, th I feel like sometimes what happens is i think about a trend really long and hard and then i feel like oh had i just bought this one year ago when i was, when i started thinking about this i would have been able to make the most of the trend in the last year but i do think it's a lovely trend it's really worth trying to find the perfect fit for you and that probably does mean trying on loads and loads of waistcoats especially if you're a little bit curvier i tried some on an h m and i just felt that the buttons were pulling or there was like too much space around the arm which i don't find too flattering or the length wasn't quite quite right so i do think it's worth trying on quite a few so you find the right one for you there's also vests which are probably that little bit easier to wear and work quite well in a country like the uk where it's always is it cold even in spring so that it's just on like a nice light layer and i do think layering just looks more like thought out than just wearing a blouse and something i really need to work on going back to print there was a lot of talk about mob wife aesthetic and i think because of that animal print is really really having a revival again the damson matter tra leopard trousers that everyone on instagram has but leopard print croc snake print all those sort of prints i think are really having a moment i will not be buying the, Ma the damson matter trousers i have though bought the matalan joggers because they were 19 pounds and they were in they were in stock in store admittedly because they are sold out online as well but the damson matter for me it's too much of a hype um i think it's for me personally too much of an investment on something that I think will really, really, really date because everyone is wearing them. And the same applies for the Damson Madder waistcoat as well. I think give it a, a year or two, there'll be so many on Vinted and eBay. I think a lot of people will stop wearing them quite soon because it's so oversaturated online. But snake print, leopard print, crop print, not something I'm actively trying to add to my wardrobe, but I do quite like. I think it suits most people if it's your sort of style. Okay, on to bottoms, so skirts and trousers. In terms of trousers, I really think that like a, a loose leg trouser is really popular, whether that be the whether that be in gingham or striped or slightly smarter, like a plain black one. I have a plain black pair, which I love. They are old, they're from H&M, and I don't think they do them anymore because I scoured vinted for it for them in a different colour and I couldn't find them. But if you're looking to buy shorts, I really think Bermuda shorts look beautiful on any anybody and especially for someone like me who has thicker thighs i just think they're really 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 comfortable i must admit i'm not sure if it's a trend i'm going to buy into just because i do think that they can look a bit smart but they're a short so i'm not sure i have a place to wear that but if you're in an office for example that does allow you to wear shorts they're a great piece especially because some of them can look like a skirt but they don't involve chub rub which is great i do really appreciate them on other people i i think they are a trend that i probably wouldn't buy though personally i just think they're not quite my style i think they would look nice on my shape but not quite my style we'll see though on from that is capris and i have seen these on look fire on people on face on instagram like really really lovely 
Again, they're not for me personally. I, I don't think, I haven't tried them on. I do have a larger thighs and I think that personally, it would really draw attention to them. I think maybe if they were black, it would be okay. And I have seen largely people wear them in black, but I'm just not sure if I would be that comfortable with it, to be completely honest. So maybe one I will skip and I would just rather reach for that like striped, almost boxer style short um, as a casual piece because I don't really need an elevated short very much because I do love wearing dresses. And then skirts, we're seeing loads of bubble skirts. Uh, I don't actually think I really partook in this when it initially came out and I don't think it's something I would partake in now. I'm not sure, but I don't think so. I've seen lots of people wearing them and they look great, but I'm not sure if it's for me. And then we're seeing loads and loads of maxi skirts. I think we're kind of moving a little bit away from the satin maxi skirts, which I really think aren't that flattering and they really cling to like every little lump and bump. If you're into more modest dressing, a long cotton skirt is perfect and beautiful and it offers that kind of like light and freshness of a skirt without showing too much. I think for me though, it's not quite enough skin. I like to have a little bit of my legs on show. If I am gonna wear a skirt, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna, I might try one on. I'd probably look for one that hasn't got too much fabric though. And then finally, shoes. Like I mentioned, sometimes I feel like I buy into trend a bit late and then I'm like, oh, like, do I, don't I, do I, don't I? Like, am I just too late and I'm not gonna get anywhere out of it? And I really think Sambas are one of those things. Sambas, Gazelles, Speciales, they are everywhere still. Probably Sambas slightly less, but Gazelles and, spe and Speciales, with, and Speciales? We're seeing them a lot in that red colour, in that baby blue colour, even in that yellow colour that is really, really on trend. And they are chef's kiss beautiful. I didn't buy them before and now I'm like ooing and ahhing. I think they are like the one thing that's really missing from my wardrobe, but I'm really not sure if I'm going to invest. I feel like everyone that has them does wear them a lot, so we'll see. I've got my eye on the red ones, if I'm honest. If I find them, I might try them on in store tomorrow, we'll see. I still think that that sort of style and shape is really, really popular and will be for the rest of spring and summer. Also very popular are pointy, either like mules or slingbacks, and I love them. I just think they look so beautiful and like such a sexy shoe, um, especially as a kitten heel. They just look beautiful, like really effortless. I'm really tempted by them, but I just don't think I would get enough wear out of them. I just don't think I've got, I don't go anywhere where I'd want to wear a heel. And I do think they don't look that comfortable, especially the mules. I feel like if you go out a lot, if you wear heels to work, they are just stunning. But for me personally, I think it might be a no. I love them. Oh, I don't know. The High Street is doing them a lot though. Zara has loads. I even saw a really lovely pet on Ravel. Really, really stunning with a buckle. It's definitely something you can thrift. And again, your mum might have some in her wardrobe that she could lend you because it is that sort of style. A trend that I'm really, really liking and probably one that I'm gonna buy into a fair amount. I have like two of these things on my wish list, And that is a smarter shoe. So something like a loafer or a dolly shoe, or a um, Mary Jane. Sorry, we don't call them dolly shoes anymore. Or a ballet flat, or a Mary Jane. They are super classic, but I do think that they went out of trend. I loved them in the noughties. And honestly, I think I might go back to them. I don't think they're that good for your feet. So I am leaning more towards a Mary Jane, or a ballet flat with a little elastic, which is really on trend as well, because I think a dolly shoe doesn't really offer you any support whatsoever. If a dolly shoe's not for you, a slightly daintier loafer, I still think looks really cool at the moment. They're not as on trend as ballet flats and Mary Janes though, but we're kind of seeing a micro trend within ballet flats of more like cool, exciting, ballet flats I guess. Not only are people going for black ones or red ones, which I've got a red pair and a black pair on my wish list, but people are also going for like really highly embellished ones with like jewels or buckles. Again, there's a pair of like Ganny ones that were really, really popular. Um, I mean, the Dolly Shoot-esque, not quite, maybe they're maybe slightly more of a sling back, but they're flat and really, really popular. Again, I wouldn't buy them. I think they're too, too trendy, but if that's your style, great. And we're seeing a lot of the mesh ones, very much inspired by Aliyah. Who's got that sort of money to spend on Aliyah? The high street is flooded with dupes. But honestly, I'm not that tempted by them because I just don't know if they'd be comfortable. They just seem like a really, really impractical shoe that you would just have for Instagram 
or for like TikTok. I'm not saying no to that one. I'm a little bit unsure. If I try them on and I like them, maybe I'll buy them, but I do feel like they're maybe too much of a trend shoe. But that's the end of this video. I really enjoyed filming it. I'm hoping I didn't speak too fast because I know that sometimes I get very excited filming these videos and I speak super, super fast. So it's something I'm working on. But like I said, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. I would definitely consider doing a summer version of this if you guys are interested. I'm not sure if like, the trends will be really, really similar, but I would definitely be interested in doing an autumn one or a winter one if this one is well received. It's inspiring for me as well, I would say. But like I said, thank you very much for watching. So subscribe if you enjoyed it. Let me know what trend you're looking forward to wearing the most and what trend you would just never partake in. Also, if you disagree with any of these trends or if you think I missed any as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week Thursday.